Welcome back to Yong Lowell Channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of the biggest highlights from each match in the 2023 Swiss World Series. Are you ready? Please subscribe to my channel to watch more new videos. And now, let's begin. It's calming Ocean Dragon mm -hmm. here for all of the laners. Dragon Dragon, yeah. and you are moving away. Lahen's not quite getting the memo, but I think he is going to be able to take that and teleport. At the moment, I mean, we're not seeing anything that is uh, anything to write home about, Kobe. Uh, as, okay, this might have to be something. There's the Magnus on first blood at 15 minutes. Cuz is going to go down, and Deft picks up the kill. So that's, that's even working double time. In the meantime, of course, KT, they did have BDD in the bottom lane. Bottom lane, outer tower taken for KT. Oh. Death, though? Yeah, teleport is going to come through, and now they're looking for a potential kill. The crash down should be available here, as there is the shattering strike. Pulls him back, and Lens goes down, too. They do manage to make it through the choke point. Canyon and Kana a little bit further forward as DK getting towards Death, trying to make sure that he stays safe. Realm Warp is going to bring in just Keen, and there is the Rune Prison onto Canyon. The equalizer comes down, Pop Blossom under! Two though, and DK will wipe them out. Only a couple of kills, and the Drake will reset. Dragon, and as you know, keep to that very quick dragon stacking pace. They were behind about 5,000 gold or something like that. It was a big lead for D, and it wasn't enough to close it out. And you can see in the brush. Heated up on the rumble right now as the extendo beam not going to find too much. Pop Blossom, the flash picks up too. BDD gets the Empress Divide up, but he's still going to die. And Keen, he'll break that stopwatch, but his life is still over for now. Two swift kills on the solo lanes, and D Plus, they can move towards. But this is a dangerous moment for the KT jungler and D Plus. You can see they know that he is going to try for it. They burst it down, managed to take it out. Showmaker playing bouncer here. Being a little bit stronger. KT higher seed. They got side selection as that is going to be a hook connecting. But it's onto the rel. Equalize onto three. And Kana will help burn down the Nautilus. You didn't think he'd be that <laughs> flammable. And move in from this top side. Has hit level 16. Pretty strong on this rise right now. Cuz wanting to try and find his way in. But look at this. All of D plus trying to get them out of the way. But Keen just gets that root prison down. Immediately they dive in though. Cuz is already going to go down. That is a three man ulti for BDD. We've seen this before as KT will wipe out D. Oh, oh, oh. goes down. It's an ace in trade for just cuz. They do it at the Baron Atlas. Side. They get the entire map closing in around D. And D, they still have. Waiting for their opportunity. Keen in the pit. He's taken a fair bit of damage already. As that is not the real showmaker. He's off the side of this wall. Realm Warp to get Keen out of there. That could mean a bit of an advantage here for DK. This Drake is down very, very low, cuz these smites are terrifying. There's the equalizer to act as a wall. Oh, cuz steals it, but it's a four-man pop blossom. Can they win the fight though? When they're against the elder, that's the question. And Keith says no. Showmaker goes down. Empress divide on the county and the dragon's wrath will bite him in half. And now the bottom lane from KT DK are trying to run away because ooh, into the fire, not exactly where you want to be. Is can Death actually do this? Possible one versus three angle with the teleport to come forward. Deft wants to get rid of them. These Elder Drake buffs are so scary. He's not going to be able to get it done. Beatty's in the mid lane just trying to end this game. Yeah, and aiming on the Zeri here on the flank with the Elder. Well, Deft is going for one last shot in this game to see whether he can get something done. But I have a feeling the Dragon will say something <laughs> about it. Down to the GA. And KT have him surrounded. There he goes. Aiming goes to 4-0-5. And Lahenzen beat it. We'll say goodnight to game one. It was looking awful. It was not looking great for KT. The Elder Dragon fight, and they're coming to, to win the game. Yep, and uh, it's just them relying on the fact that Cuz is so good at getting these smites. I imagine they need lane to finish the job. Yep, Super Minion's going to be helping them out as that sixth man in mid and bottom lane uh, here for D plus Kia. And the Rebel Baron power play is only going to stack up the first. Sometimes he's going to make the investments, you know. They yeah. knew exactly when to sell, and it was... Uh, Diversified their portfolios. They were mm -hmm. calm. No, I, I feel no like, panic selling here. I feel like most of their portfolio was Emperor's Divide. Um, <laughs> they had certainly a lot in that one. That's a good stock. Yeah, it is certainly good. Um, that one just uh, tends to go up and to the right. As, okay, last Nexus turret left standing here for D+. They're going to go for one last team fight. The Pop Blossom's decent into the back line. They do manage to...
to get rid of the Azia. Aiming still alive though, and Keen is just gigantic. That was actually the real showmaker, and he is going to fall down, but now it's Amy who's in trouble. He's down to the GA Canyon, trying to keep Deft alive. He is going to be the win condition in this round, this one. But there are four KT members. Their health bars are low, but their damage is so high. Red White Guns, I don't think, are going to save DK here as Keen just realm walks on top of Deft. Aiming locks down the kill. That will be the ace, and that will be game one for KT. I'm the wise one, and we finally reached the final round of the Swiss stage. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the best moments of the second game between KT Rolster and DK. Let's get started. That alone is so much more action than we got in the first 15 minutes of oh, last game. Oh, here goes Canyon. There's the headbutt pole on Dola Hens, and he doesn't have flash, so he's really dead. That is going to be first blood going over to Kellen. <laughs> but KT, even though they give up the first blood, they're the ones after the resets that are able to rope. Yeah, they're going to get down there. So with Kellen and Deft in the lane. Oh, Showmaker, he's going to get flashed on here by Lahens. Pop Blossom right on the edge. And that is a dead Ari served up by the KT support. They're, they're getting a little frisky here because they know there's no ultimate up for the Nautilus or the Nico, and they're gonna go 45. Yeah, Extendo Beam does come in, Aiming has pressed the ult button, Moonlight Vigil does come down, though it's Kana, he's slicing his way into the fight already, they've taken down the hands. Keen trying to find the angle, but he's mini Nar, he's not exactly able to do too much, as it's Canyon that locks down the dragon, Cataclysm flies in, and Keen has to flash away. The best time. You can see in the gold, things very, very even there. But it's been about the plays that D-Plus have been able to make. Mountain Dragons that you mentioned arriving to the Rift. It is KT first into the oh, river. Well, he has his own medicine. He gets knocked up. He's going to flash, but he's not going to get away. Still, Kellen's in trouble, but he's got an unbreakable will. An unbreakable <laughs> spirit, if you will. Around this map. Okay. The only thing KT are really getting is a topside turret for Keen, but the Gnarl of the Dragon. Showmaker coming on over. And Canyon doesn't want to invest his flash, doesn't want to get back in there. Yeah, not this time, as Canna. Doing a good job here, just playing these side lanes, yeah. getting control, and putting the pressure on KT. They get that first pick, and the Viego can really cause a ruckus. And that's the thing, too, since BDD's damage is spread oh, AOK. Okay. They're just engaging onto Cuz here. He is going to go golden. Pop Blossom going to connect onto two, Depth being one of them. They take down Canyon to start this off as Kellen has to flash away. Showmaker a bit late on the teleport. And their jungler is now just dead for free. KT now pushing in mid. That's a dream start for KT. BDD had just bought his new... They're now going to get burned down. No smite for D+, plus, but they also don't have a lot of options. Yeah, they have to go for a team fight to try and make this one work. Dominus already popped here by Kana. The knockup not going to be great there from Lehens as the Baron is going to go down, but can they keep themselves alive? Aiming says yes as he pops the ultimate. Kellen going to be the first one to be zapped down. And there is the skater. He gets over the wall, but Aiming's just going to get punished. I don't know about that one. Overly aggressive with these abilities is something he's been known for. And now it's a double kill for Death. They're looking to turn it. In goes Canyon as he turns back on this. A double knockup as well. Make it a triple kill. And BDD's going to go down to Showmaker. That's the ace. And what happened here, Baron? Now KT. Death is looking for it. He almost gets the quadra. It's an ace for Canyon, though. In the all him. He pulls out the kills. They pull out the ace. And they get the drag. I thought that it was going to be aiming diff. Wow. And he is 80 CS up. Like, it is absurd the amount of money he's been funneled. But if he just getting channeled by Cuz, he cancels it. And now Keen is definitely dead, but they might get a Viego for free as well. As Keen realizes that he has to fight it, he finds the Nah. And how much time can he gain is the question. Minion waves aren't really there. And so with that knockup, with that stun, it should just be a Gravitum and then <laughs> A Q from Deft with a Severum. Ooh, the ward actually going to be sneakily placed. Information advantage here for D+. Headbutt Bolt He's going to connect as Lehens gets out of there, but Kanner is bearing down on them. Showmaker oh. looking for BDD, who dives on top of Deft, who oh. just stands his ground, rips him to shreds. 5 6 0 four. No flash available, no ult available. How are you supposed to get into this pit and take this Baron? The Baron's going to be secured. Kana stepping on up. He's got a full rage bar, and this is just going to be another 5v5. We'll see who oh, manages to get the spike, but that's not the important one. Canyon locks it down this time, and D+, plus, they don't even need to go for it. They have control of the You know? <laughs> exactly. You're guaranteed a win, and you're also guaranteed... This time around, KT are at least able to clear out the minion wave. But Showmaker over the wall, fishing for a charm. Cuz wants an angle. There's the anchor. That's going to connect Death Charge on to Deft as BDD finds him in the back line as well. But the cleanse does come through. And now Showmaker's over the wall. The damage is there. Three man. No, but where's the follow up? Keen's going to get melted down. Aiming tries to get in there. He gets the kill onto Kellen. And now Kanner is looking. 
looking for him. He skates away out of the fight. It's a 4v4 now. It's a flash forward. The charm's not going to land because the stopwatch is there. And the knockup comes through. Beat it. He's in trouble, but he splits the shape and tries to get away. Canyon goes down. And now Cuz is looking for the resets. It's a 3v3, but the health bars are low on both sides. Apart from aiming, in goes Cuz trying to be the hero here as Kana is dashing away. And D Plus, they're just trying to get out of this one it's now. A big opportunity for them. You can see D Plus though, they are favoring the Baron. They have soul point advantage that they have now. It feels that way. There is a lot of damage here on D Plus's side though, and they can't see the health bar of this Baron. Extendo Beam does come through, and it's Cuz not going to be able to steal it away. Canyon grabs that. The charm is going to go wide, and KT, they really want to start this fight. Kanner is just a brick wall in the front line though, and Showmaker looking for that flank angle does go into Zonyus very early. And there's the flash now, pushes him into the wall, and Showmaker, he goes down. Pop Blossom doesn't find that much, but now Deft is in trouble. A hen dives on top of him. Death stays alive for a while, but then it's a shutdown from KT. And you may have a Baron, but you may lose your Nexus. Canyon's trying to stop it. He's going for the minions, but KT will go for him. Yeah, the drag was a little bit late there. Canyon just trying to get away, trying to stay alive. He gets over the wall. Here, I have a feeling that KT should just be able to mow down this yeah. turret. The inhibitor going to go down as well. Is this just going to be the end? of D Plus's road right here. The answer is no. They are going to head towards the mid lane, look for that inner turret, stack those wallets up as high as possible, and then see whether D Plus can win another team Teleport. fight. Teleport. Teleport to come through here. This could be a last ditch effort. Headbutt Paul is going to connect onto Keen. Gets knocked up by Canyon as well, but there's no damage here. There's no real opportunity. It's too late for Showmaker as he's now going to arrive, but the Unbreakable Will was there. The charm's going to land on Dekaz. And D Plus have turned the tempo around. Let's check out this replay. Yeah, Cuz tried to go flash inside the pit and steal, but he couldn't get it. Canyon hit it. Well, this because they really need to find a pick on an isolated target and focus fire somebody down. Well, there's a fake BDD. There's a headbutt pole onto a Mega Nar. Keen actually pretty big. Hook is going to connect onto Kellen, who does press the R button. That is a big cooldown. As there's a Cataclysm onto three. Into the back line goes Kana. Goggles don't play, keeping himself alive with the Pop Blossom. Oh. It's massive. The Nar is even bigger. Showmaker be the man to save it. Looks like the answer is no because aiming is still up. Keen is still up. And I think KT may have done it. Showmaker is going to go golden, but that's a see your death moment. Aiming says good night. And Keen is just teleporting for the Nexus. Canyon wants to stop him, but I just don't think he will dissuade Keen from heading towards the knockout stage. It has been so long since we've seen this man there, and he's going to earn it with a two. Zero KT. They take down D plus. They end that road for Deft. Unfortunately, his back was against the wall. We thought it gave him power. Not according to KT. BDD will not.